What is going on guys? Saturday is here. Uh, out and about getting coffee. Um, obviously, you might be able to hear something in the background. Something has returned back to the channel. Uh, gonna be cruising around for a little bit. So I'll give you a, take a guess of what it could be. If you can hear it. Now, here I'll show you. So the Celine knot is back. Looking pretty good. Needs a bath, but uh, yeah, looking pretty, pretty good. So this is going to be around for maybe a couple weeks. Um, Got to fix a couple things on it and uh, do a, a few other things are happening with it. But I will uh, update you of what's going on with this car. Um, in this video today. So, uh, just like I said, I'm just getting coffees this morning. I'm um, a morning coffee run, and uh, not sure what's gonna happen later in today. It's supposed to rain, so I'm just out in the car this morning. Uh, it has no wipers currently on it, so I'm trying to get a, a little test shakedown in it this morning. Um, not sure if I'll drive it today to the shop or whatever, but we'll see. <coughs> Sorry, I'll, we'll see how it goes. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, so back at home. Uh, it's later in the day now. Um, was doing a few things around the house. My It's my daughter's birthday, so kind of did a few things inside the house. Uh, my wife took her and her friends out roller skating, so they're gone for a few hours. Got the Celine outside. It's covered because obviously we can't put it inside. We just got some wicked rain, thunderstorms and stuff. Um, so I'm out in the garage. I actually want to get the T-top car jacked up and pushed over. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put the rear end in it. I want to try to cut the control arms out like I was talking in the previous video so I can get the rear end back in. And then, uh, but I think I want to get it over closer to the wall so I have a little bit more space here to open the doors and do a few things. Um. We're gonna start getting stuff permanently on this car. I don't know if I'm gonna fix, I might try to fix this uh, little spot here on this fender. Um, there's a few things I gotta do, so, um, but I wanna kinda get it jacked up, pushed over closer to the wall so I have a bit more space in here. <clears throat> and uh, get back to uh, sanding, right? Um, I wanna get the door permanently on. I wanna sand inside the door jams. Um, so we can start laying down some paint in the door jams, etc., and uh, kind of go from there. Um, I also got a um, couple things from Drew, who owns the car. Got a sweet Dutch shifter handle, um, throttle body and spacer, um, a couple other things. For the car, um, I think I did mention before that I did have a transmission for it now, which is over here, transmission bell housing. So all we pretty much need is a motor, got the hood right there, and uh, we're ready to rock, right? I did start doing some undercoating under here, just to kind of freshen it up, right? It's looking, it's looking pretty sweet, guys under here right so we just got to get these control arms out so i can put the other control arms in and then i gotta scuff this uh rear end up maybe we'll start doing that we'll get that cleaned up we'll get all the brake shoes off of it um yeah get all these off of here and uh we'll clean this up we'll get it sanded down or grinded down and kind of get it ready to put back in the car so it stays in there permanently. And uh, yeah, got the race on, got some beverages. All right, guys, so I've decided, ow, gotta close some drawers here. Um, I've decided, you know, 
like I said, I do hop around a lot. Um, so I've decided I'm going to pull this door off. Um, we're going to get the rest of the undercoating off uh, so we can finish this door. Um, and we're going to work on this quarter panel, getting this off and this cleaned off so we can have um, this all cleaned up. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the car hopefully jacked up to get it over farther so I can work more. I want to get this side done. So we're going to work on getting uh, the undercoating off, the undercoating off the front fender. Um, Got to tweak the bottom here a little bit. And I think once this is cleaned up, we'll uh, try to recreate this uh, this uh, lip, okay? Because this fender is pretty nice, can just that one spot. So that's what's going to happen in this video, guys. We're going to get this side totally done, get all that stuff off. We'll get the doors bolted up, lined up the way we want it. We'll get the fenders lined up the way we want it once we fix the patch. And then this side will be good to go, right? And then uh, one day, maybe this weekend, we'll get it flipped around or something like that once we get the rear end in, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. Like I said, I'm all over the map. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to think of stuff to do. I'm still waiting to hear about what's happening with the Cobra. Maybe tomorrow or Monday, we will do stuff with that. I'm waiting to hear back from Brian uh, what's happening. And so, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So I got the door up here right now. It's off the car. Um, so we're just got the heat gun out, got the scraper. We're going to scrape all this off from here. Uh, so I'm going to set you up and put you on a time lapse. I think I'm going to set you on the car right here and uh, get you on a time lapse and watch me scrape all of this off. So it should be tw pretty quick for you. It's probably going to take me an hour. <laughs> All right guys, so the big mess. I got it all scraped off. Look at that. Still some more has to come off, but not too bad. It was a bit quicker than I thought it would be. It took me about 20 minutes, but folks said I should trash this door because it had a dent in it. Look at this door, man. You know what I mean? People just don't get it sometimes, right? Some people just take the easy way out and just replace the door sure might have been less work but it wouldn't have been an original door for the car you know what i mean All right i probably would have had to cut up some regular doors and you know made them t-top doors and stuff like that but we're saving it we just got to fill a couple holes here with the welder and uh yeah and then we can sand and clean it up and it'd be nice we're gonna bust out the welder we're gonna fill a couple holes here pretty quick maybe this big one um, and uh, get it welded up, skim it. The nice thing is, is the holes are under the molding, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it'd be nice just to have them filled. You know what I mean? Instead of just scooping some uh, uh, Bondo over it. <laughs> I just did a couple little spotties to uh, seal up the holes. Got to fix this stuff still a little bit more, but that's not too bad. Uh, got this piece welded back on for the fender. Um, and then I started just kind of doing some sanding and things like that. Um, and we're going to uh, toss the door back on. Uh, it's looking pretty good. So we'll get that back on. We can line everything up and then... Uh, start on the next thing all right guys so i got the door and everything back on um i've decided i'm gonna get rid of this fender i actually don't like it it doesn't line up good at all um, i think it's tweaked a little bit so we're gonna replace this fender at some point um but like i said i got this on here let me turn this down a bit watching some racing um but yeah so i started lining up that side 
making sure everything fits nice. We just got to finish lining up this side. Um, and then, um, like I said, then we'll work on getting the rear end back in it and uh, kind of going from there. Um, I want to start getting all the stuff that's inside the car under it. Uh, you know what I mean? I want to get the door jams painted. That's why I got to finish that side. The door jams on this side are pretty much ready to go. Then um, the engine bay painted and stuff like that. So there's just that little detail. Um, then I can start running all the engine harness stuff and running everything the way it's supposed to be. Um, you know, but he's not looking too bad. I pulled the door handle off. It's broken, so I have a new one. Well, I have a passenger, a new passenger one because it's broken. I don't have a driver's side, so I'm gonna have to get one of those. And uh, what else? I'm trying to think. But I got a bunch of new stuff. I got a new throttle body. Um, this is a box full of weather stripping for the tops. Um, what else did I get? Uh, I'm trying to think. I got the tranny. I told you guys about that already gas tank I have I gotta get fuel lines I don't know if I'm gonna try to get factory fuel lines or just make some with like AN fittings you know run it to the front we'll see um and yeah we're we're pretty we're getting there guys um it's not too bad also if uh any of you guys are interested um the Celine clone which is right here that I've been cruising around and it's actually for sale. Um, the owner, my friend Drew, he wants to sell it. Um, he's uh, buying a different car. Um, he just doesn't drive this one enough. Uh, so he wants to get rid of it. Uh, it's a 347 Pro Charged. Um, it's got big brakes. Um, you know, tubular K member, coilover suspension, corbo seats, black interior. Um, the car made like 460 horsepower or something like that. We got dyno, all the paperwork is with it. Um, so if anybody's interested in Ontario that's close to me or whatever, let me know. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Um, it's just time for him to move on from it. He's had it for a few years. He's barely driven it. Um, so let me know. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to just cut this video here. I know it's not a lot of stuff today, but uh, like I said, I'm just taking my time. I don't want to, my eyes are still healing. They're less red, but I just a little bit at a time and then we'll start getting in. As far as the Cobra stuff, uh, the car trailer ended up getting broken the other day uh so we're in the middle of trying to fix that so we couldn't transport uh, the cars this weekend so we're gonna have to probably move that till next weekend unfortunately um it's just a long weekend here and it's hard to get things done it's an aluminum trailer we have to do aluminum welding and you know blah 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 so but it's coming guys so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one